Hi and welcome to For the Love of Paint. I'll just take you through this Audi A3 Ice Silver and this will just be the base coat and clear coat and a quick troubleshoot. So I was going to go for a double header and a drop coat. See I was just doing a double header there. I was just dusting a quick bit over the side. You know I wasn't going to waste any base coat. That was just almost like a quick blend. But even on the first coat, as you can see there, I just eased off because I noticed some silicon towards that left lamp there and towards the bottom of the tailgate where the repair was and where I put some wet and wet primer and some fade out agent which I think some thinners maybe have blown out from the um, the rear lamp and probably caused some silicons but there was nothing to worry about I just took my time, had a quick think about it and decided the less, drast the less um, drastic action would be to just puff a little bit of base coat over the silicones um, to see how that went first of all it's definitely better than trying to sand um, from the off sanding base coat is certainly nothing I enjoy there's, there's just nothing good about it so this was uh, my first go to so this just I decided flash that off completely. I cut some of it out, just puff a little base coat, see how it reacted, and it worked perfectly. It seemed to just cover them up straight away. So I decided to just carry on, put some light coats on, kept it at two bar. I was drying it completely in between coats, and yeah, it was just working an absolute treat so it didn't take me much longer to do which I was extremely happy about obviously I just had to change my method of what I originally intended to do which is no problem as long as the result turned out the same as long as the job turned out nice that is all that matters so I just keep looking at it from all angles just keep checking at it that it's that it's working and it's drying and I like what I'm seeing so yeah so I ended up putting another few more coats over the top and then just carrying on from normal it's a really nice silver it's really fine you gotta lay it down fine so I'm using the T10 2 bar um, Develbis GTI Pro Light. So, yeah, I'm just going to make sure it's thoroughly dry. So, this is definitely something worth trying before you try sanding anything out, doing any crazy stuff. Just puff a little base cup bit of base coat over the top and see what happens see I've done this a few times when uh, the water base is reacted and it normally works a treat doesn't work every time and some colours for whatever reason always seem to sand down differently I notice that whites are normally the Whites are normally the more troublesome to fix. But in this lesson, all the uh, water bomb range, the, the silvers are normally pretty good to work with. So I'm almost ready for my uh, full coats. Just want to make sure that the completely happy the covered well dried I see I'll just get my tacky out my eye tack tack cloth 
So before I put any more uh, coats of base coat on. So I even decided to change what I was doing. I was just going to keep it under the swage lines there. So this is what you do. You've got to keep assessing the job all the way through. And after I put on my medium wet coat, I was keeping it under the swage line. But then I looked at it and I just thought it'd be easier to just go straight across the top of the tailgate and this will in fact stop the colour from or the clear coat from changing the colour on top anymore deepening um, that base coat um, the clear coat on top which would have thrown the tailgate to the rear wings out a little bit so the tailgate would have been darker in the rear the rear wings so I'm just going for a nice closed tight overlap so it's a medium wet coat and I just look at it and think and this is what I'm going to do the colour was good painted it before keep it nice and closed yeah and it was the right thing to do because it matched edge to edge there was no uh, there was no colour difference so that meant I could happily go straight over two coats right to the edge of the tailgate with my clear coat so again I'm, I'm shortening down these drying times and next I'll be ready for the drop coat so I'll just pull the gun back a little bit keep it at two bar I've got it at three turns out and I'll just slow it down a little bit get it on nice, it's a nice mist coat keeping it even so I could end up cutting it just a little bit out there and I'll be on for a clear coat so with silvers, that's all you got to do. Keep it nice and even. Keep it closed. Keep it closed. Coming back that little bit. And you should be okay. With this one, because it is a fine silver though. You don't want to put it on too dry. You want the metallics to lay down. And not sticking up, standing up too much. So I'm onto the clear coat number one. I'm just giving it a little bit of a, just making sure it's fully flashed off. I was out for five minutes, mixing up my clear coat, cleaning another gun out. I'm just come back in. I'm just puffing a bit of air over the top. The booth's nice and hot on this day. So I'm two turns out of the lesson or premium clear. Got it at two bar, TE20. And I'm just going for a close coat, nothing, nothing major. Just nice and even. Get a nice fine orange peel on that first coat. And I'll give it five minutes to flash off. Check the timepiece. Time and once that's five minutes are done, I'm straight back and lock on another medium wet coat. What I love about this clear is that you can easily match the factory finish of near enough anything you want to paint you just watch how it's going on I always keep the fluid at um, two turns out two bar and yeah I can just slow it down speed it up if we am doing large resprays or, or really big panels if it's on a van three turns out I'll go Let's 
keep it nice and closed. Just keep your eye all over the panel. Just watching. For that wet edge. And just keeping it flowing across that panel. Yeah, I'm happy with the results. Couldn't see no silicones. So I'm just getting my eye on that, just making sure there were no dry spots. It was nice and even. So I'd like to take the time to thank everyone for watching. And if you could just leave a comment below, any problems, any issues, or just comment in the video and just hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I'll be releasing more content regularly and yeah, thanks for watching.